Andy Mecca's Community Mech Challenge. Go to the hashtag, go to Andy Mecca's video if you've not seen it. I like the idea of a community challenge and I like the idea of giving something to the community. So what I decided to do is make a way of making mech legs, making a mech leg factory. So here's what I did. I loaded up Inkscape and I started designing some legs. Here they are. So these are all different bits of a leg that I can use on mech, but I wanted them to be multi-purpose. I wanted lots of things that you can make lots of different ones with the same template. So I've got this template and of course in Inkscape and on laser cutters, and especially on the K40 Whisperer, everything you do in Reddit cuts, everything you do in Blue, it scores. So let's get them laser cut. Record scratch. Hang on, hang on. Look, yeah, okay. I'm really privileged. I've got a laser cutter. You probably haven't got a laser cutter. I mean, you might be really privileged and have a glowforge. I'm not that privileged. But anyway, look, I don't want this just to be used for people with laser cutters. It works great if you've got one, but if you've got the Inkscape file, it's just an SGV file. You can print it on paper. And what can you do when you print it on paper? Well, you can stick it on cardboard and when you stick it on cardboard what can you do with it well look i'm actually going to use a cutting mat for cutting hang on so this is just pva glue which i've stuck the paper to corrugated paper it's double corrugated it i stuck the paper to it and then put it under a book to make sure that this was flat it's bended a little bit but i think that'll be all right it's about three mil which is about the same size as a the plywood that i cut on the laser printer as well on the laser template well i've done this square red so it will cut that out but i've found it's much easier to do it this way there you go yeah so you don't have to cut those holes out it's optional but once you've got one of them of course you can get lots more of them so once you've got the basic leg cut out then these are like the the knee sockets and those are the hip sockets so that gives you the basic shape and once you've got one of these that you've printed out of course you can get an excessively over engineered pen and you can draw around it as a template and then you can cut that out as well and you can even double sided sticky tape on the underside of that and stick it to it and then just you can cut around the outside of it so if you want to double layers up you can make it like that so I'm going to release these templates. I'll probably put them on my GitHub, which just click on the link. If you don't know what GitHub is, I'll link directly to it. Click on it. It's an SGV file. You should be able to load that into something like Inkscape or just try and print it out. You need to print it out approximately A4. And then you'll be able to do this. I'll show you some features of it. Here is mech leg that I've made. Now I've made this out of plywood. Yeah, it is laser cut, but it'll work just as well out of this. And you see, sometimes I've chosen to cut a hole out. And then other times, like on that one, I've decided to leave the hole in. And depending on how you do it, you can layer it. So this little cut out there, if you want, you can cut that out and leave a layer. Or if you don't want to do that, you can get the little piece and even stick it on there. Now, if you look at the legs on my template, I've done two different types of legs. I've done these, which are like the outer legs, and then I've done an inner leg. The idea I've did of those is that if you put them on top of each other, it gives you a thickness, but it also gives you a bit of an interesting pattern on the inside as well. And again, these aren't designed to be used just as plywood or just as cardboard. Stick greeblies on them, do other things on them. So you've got that cut out there. I could put that cut out on it. And make that pattern more interesting or i could just do the legs of that and stick these on it or i could those in the middle and stick those either side of it get the idea so from this one template if you cut a few of them you can do lots of legs that are similar but not exactly the same
that was my idea behind this so yeah there's one I've made if you want to paint it and you put those holes in I made those holes so that you could hang some wire there and if you wanted to spray paint it you can do that and spray paint it all in one go because it's you can suspend it I've also made some little feet if you're doing with the feet notice that there's a bigger hole at the front than at the back if you've got three of these so that's about nine millimeters remember keep that at the front that foot should fit exactly in there so three sheets of cardboard double corrugated cardboard should fit in the same way if you don't want to do it that much just cut those holes a little bit smaller when you're cutting them but the other thing Thing I've done is this the idea is that that sticks on the bottom of it and why have I done that well it's so uh, you can put some pennies in it pennies in different countries might be different sizes you'll have to work it out yourself but that gives it some weight so when it's stuck in there it keeps the weight at the bottom that's the idea behind that bit so I hope you like these little legs I've designed and if you're struggling with legs why don't you make some out of cardboard download this pattern do it yeah have a go at doing this and have a go at andy mecca's community challenge as well i'm not saying use these legs for community challenge but if you've never had a go at doing a mech thought this might be interesting i'm going to go off and paint this and let's see what that looks like <laughs> <laughs>